I got some paintings from fan cells. So we're going to unbox these paintings I got from fan cells. And I am really interested to see some of these. I will start out with like the first item, which is an item. I got this nice long centimeter ruler. Which side does this open from? <laughs> there we go. It's a 50 centimeter ruler. So I'll probably be using this instead of that tape measure because it just seems nicer to me. Also, having the ruler in the bag, I mean, not that I've ever had an issue with fan cells squishing them, but having the ruler in the bag, my mailman couldn't squish them, the shipping didn't squish them, like the ruler worked as a buffer. Uh, however, the ruler is slightly, slightly bent. I don't know if you can see it has a slight curve to it, but I'm sure I can flatten it out. If not, it doesn't really matter. It still will definitely do what I want to do. So again, thank you fan cells for these. We're going to actually start with the big one. because I'm really curious about this one. Well, that's not the big one. Why can't I find the big one? Oh, right. The big one isn't... Okay. I said we were going to start with the big one, but the big one I'm thinking about is a 30 by 50. So even though it's big, it's not big. Um... I want to start with the big one. There she is. So yeah, she's a 30 by 50, so. She's not... She might be the biggest drill area, but she's not the tallest canvas we have. Alright. So. This may look like something you'd expect mom to get, not me. Mom even made a comment about it seeming more like her style. But it kind of has the, like, spooky creepiness that I like. Like, I don't know. I really liked this image. It's, it is like a big-eyed doll, but it has, like, creepy little faces to it. 1 is 1, down to 8 is 8, A down through N, 18 colors. So that's nice. All right. Kind of big eye, creepy-ish doll. But the reason I wanted her is you got this little creepy big-eyed skeleton there. The bowl she's eating out of has the eyes there. Look at that. And then they almost look like eyeballs, like meatballs. But instead it's like eyeballs and pasta or something. Like it just has that cute creepy twist. And they're all pre-bagged. We have the canvas number on the bags. And again, I do believe that these are the dates that they were bagged. So 23, 11, 22. But not bright colors. They're nice colors. Like look at all these blues and you got some oranges and browns. Nothing really bright. It is a nice like what you would expect. Kind of like the darker toned painting. And look at the little moon up here. Oh, it feels sticky. And you got like a little castle in the background and some trees around her. Again, it almost looks like some type of eyeball type thing on her. What do you call... <laughs> I just went completely blank on what you call the headband. Wow. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. There was something about this. The little creepy guy over here eating his spaghetti. The bowl having eyes. It almost looking like they're eating eyes. A little face here. Just like, yeah, she's kind of mom style doll, but I love the extras to it. Like if it was just this or something it really wouldn't be my style but look at that 
Look at him staring at the bowl eating and the bowl just like... You got, like I said, they almost look like eyeballs. They're probably more like an olive type thing, I'm guessing. But like red with the dot in it. There's the white. So it totally looks like an eyeball. You got that little guy down there. So, I don't know. I just thought this was really cute yet kind of like Halloween. So, this actually re reminds me of one of those smiley cleaning sponges. <laughs> so, again, 18 colors. And it looks like we have a really nice drill field on her. The H's are kind of like that little blurryish white, but again, that's the only thing. Then you got the color blocking and G's on her with some sixes there. You have your confetti and your color blocking. So, I don't know. I thought she was really cute. And I know, it's not Halloween anymore, but it will be Halloween again. And since she's just kind of like a little eerie, doesn't even need to be Halloween to work on her. Not that it would need to be Halloween to even work on a Halloween canvas. If you feel like it, then do it. All right, so we're going to go with a Christmas one. Again, we're past Christmas. I know. We are still in winter, though. And again, if you still want to work on a Christmas one or if you want to buy it for next year, it's cute. So that last one was a 30 by 50. This one's a 40 by 40. And it is this. Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Um. It's snowing, guys. You see this? It's literally snowing white drills all over. <laughs> okay, um, I've never had them manage to escape their, oh, their bag and this other bag like this. Uh, <laughs> So the amount you see on my desk, there's about twice the amount on the floor at my feet right now. <laughs> um, I think there's going to be a little intermission here while I clean some of this up. And if I run out of white drills, well, we know why, because I am sorry, I am not going to try to pick all of the drills up off the floor. They are going to get vacuumed up. And that's that. So if I run out of white, we know why I ran out of white. <laughs> Again, there's probably some cat hair there. and I'm just not going through that issue. <laughs> uh, and yes, while this could be a, a negative, oh dear, oh dear, my drill's like, grr, you know, sadness. Right now the mood I'm in, apparently, this is something that actually decided to make me happy it snowed white drills i'm not laughing because i'm upset i'm laughing because that was entertaining i've never had that happen before and yeah it's horrible but it's, it's just kind of oh uh, yeah i don't know i don't know how to put that it's like obviously this shouldn't be funny or entertaining but it's entertaining me right now I'm it just was like let's look at a Christmas one and here we'll show you all the snow while we're at, at it and like I said I wasn't in a, the greatest mood before doing this and I wanted to do this to get me in a better mood and instead of this just being another bad thing or something it's like hey let's have some snow <laughs> Yes, almost everything can be positive or negative depending on how you look at it. And yes, I took you along with me for the intermission if any of you sat through this. If you guys skipped forward, then you skipped forward. But So there is a big cut, it feels like, in this uh, bag that's holding the drills. It doesn't feel like one of the holes like they sometimes have. It feels like an actual cut. 
right in here and uh i could tape that so they stay in that bag and don't just fall out while i do this but i'm just gonna let it snow all over the desk and retrieve what i retrieve and then vacuum the floor up I will obviously tell them about this though, because if you buy your paintings, you don't want to have this happen. But at the same time, like I said, right now I find it fun, but it, it's not fun when you end up not having enough drills to work on your painting later. So I can understand if this upsets somebody. And if I was in a different mood, I might be upset that... I have drills all over the place that I have to deal with and that I'm not going to have enough, but this is why I save drills. If I have at least a bag like this of drills, if this happens, I should have enough to cover it. Even if the company says they'll send me more, I don't have to wait for them to ship this way, you know? So the only thing I'm questioning is, are these both 22s? Yes, they're both bags of 22s. So there's a lot of white in this painting. Hi, kitty cat. I have a cat wanting to join us, but I definitely don't want him on the desk right now. Yeah, no black fur with my white drills. Thank you. Bad enough there's going to be white drills all over my feet. So, so far, it seems like it's only one bag that was open. And I don't think it was cut or anything. I just think it was fully open. This bag has a cut or something in it, though, I think. I mean, sometimes they have a hole in them. Like, they punch a hole in them, which supposedly helps with static, I believe. But this one look, felt to me like it was a cut, not just... A hole punched in it. Okay. And yeah, normally I'll just... Who cares about these ones stuck on the tape? But in this case, I'm going to sit here and pull all of these off of here. Oh, it is just a hole punched in the bag. Okay. So there's no cut in the bag, it's just a hole punched in the bag. Which again, like I said, I think holes in the bag or something like that's supposed to help with static. But you can see the hole punch right through here. There's one on each side. Okay. You mind if I sit with you, kitty? No. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, pretty kitty. Okay. Many uses for one of these things, isn't there? And I think there might be a bit of static. But again, this desk causes me a bit of issues with static. I literally have my canvases glue themselves to the desk with static. And I never had that issue before when I was opening them on uh, the board I had them on or anything like that so now how do I want to do this how do I want to get them from the desk to there because I could go get my big tray or I just have a little tray do I want to just scoot them out into the little tray or am I asking to spill them all over the floor by doing this guys feel like I'm making a bad decision. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm making a bad decision here. And now I'm going to drop this boat right and spill them all over again, all over again. <sighs> Alright you guys, so the snow has been acquired and hey, it didn't even melt. 
Okay, sorry. Bad joke. <sighs> well, I am hoping, since we have two bags of this white, that this would actually still be enough, even though I have a bunch at my feet. And the bunch of my feet's gonna get stuck to my feet while I'm filming this because I'm not stopping to vacuum it before I'm done filming. <laughs> so when I find white drills in a few days, this is where they probably came from. Then again, any of us that diamond paint, you know you find drills all over the place in the random places. You don't understand how they get there, right? So, again, cute little Christmas mouse, little 40 by 40. And he's on a Christmas ornament. This was by far the cutest one. They had a lot of Christmas mice. And I looked over them and looked over them. And this was by far the cutest one. Um, some of them, the hands were like in the sweater or something like that. Some of them were standing next to the ornament. Other ones, he was also on the ornament. But this seemed to have the best proportions and the cutest pose. So, we have random letters and 22 colors color blocking an eye all the way around the background and again i'm not a fan of color blocking but i don't like partials so i will take it pretty ornament then you have your cute little mouse and his scarf and again i don't know if there's a way you can make sure these are sealed i don't know if a machine seals them or if a human sits there and seals each of them i'd still rather them come like this than in trains you can get trains that aren't sealed correctly too still rather them like this but yeah i don't think people want their drills to spill all over their desks so if we can try to make sure they're sealed better that would be nice Did I show you guys the colors in this, or was I not able to because of that either? I don't know if I managed to show you guys the colors that we had. And of course, the way I bag these, I think it's going to be harder to show you what we have, so... Can you see what's in there? Very light yellow, some darker green, pinks, browns, kind of a red pink color. There's no true red, actually. I don't think there's any true red. Yeah, no. Reds are 350, 817, 900, and 3340. So, no 666. And the reason I mention that is because there was a YouTuber I watched a video from and she was mentioning how her Christmas paintings didn't have a true red and nor does this one. Alright, so we're expecting to be 35 by 35. And it's dead on 35. Yep, dead on 35. Exactly what we expected it to be. Nice. I do notice one thing, though, I'm curious about. Hmm. I think it's an illusion. My brain's just playing tricks on me, but the eyes look so close to the edge. Another drill! Those look so close to the edge. Like, if I put the drill on them centered, the drill's gonna go over the edge, isn't it? Is my eyes just playing tricks on me? I mean, the stick normally goes over the edge anyway. So. Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. But isn't he cute? So, our little snowing mouse. Alright. Next up. We're still in the uh, winter. Let's hope this one doesn't have snow, though. 
We actually had the ground covered in white a few days ago. So that was kind of nice. Oh, little bags, but look at those colors. I love those blues. Grays, creams. Again, a lot of whitish color. Although this isn't white like the last one. It's more of a gray. A pink. Just a little bit of red in there. More browns. It does not have its canvas name on it, so I have to remember to name it. This is a softer, softer canvas. Like, it's still not very soft, but it is softer. And, of course, if you remember Sled Puppy that my mom did, he's close to Sled Puppy. And then you remember my Fall Puppy, possibly, too. So, he's kind of, like, along with them. And I didn't see him until after Christmas. Or whenever I ordered these guys. So, otherwise, I probably would have got him sooner, but I didn't see him sooner. It's just a cute little puppy in the snow with some Christmas ornaments. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Look at the two-tone face. I used to have a dog with a two-tone face like that. Not like that like that, but the half-half. Um... So one is one, two is two, down to eight, and then A down through N. 17 colors. And it looks like we have a nice clear drill field. Um, You got confetti. Anybody that doesn't like confetti, that is confetti up there. Dog's face has quite a bit of C's, though, with a few eights. But yeah, he looks a little more confetti heavy than color blocking, even though it almost looks like all white. So yeah, but I thought he was extremely cute. And he should be 25 by 35. And I do believe he's 25. So I'm sure this will be 35, which means we are getting what we expect. Yep, we're getting what I expect. I still wish that canvases would tell you both canvas size and drill size if they want to do it that way, or that they would just tell you drill size. Because again, if I'm framing this or anything else, I don't care how big this is. Plus, you get a more accurate idea what size picture you're working on if you give me the picture dimensions. <laughs> so, I still wish companies would do both. But there's so many this way now. They've been doing it this way for so long that if they were to try to switch over to doing it the other way, it would confuse people. So at this point, if they were to start labeling the drill area, they would have to put both sizes on the painting. I don't think they could get away with just putting drill area anymore. I think too many people would expect it to be this way and then it be that way. And yeah. <laughs> All right, so our cute little puppy. All right, next one. This one is also Christmas related. Sorry, I got these around Christmas, I'm guessing. And they didn't take as long to ship as some of the other ones I've opened before. Um, I have had them sitting here for a few days before recording this, and it's probably going to be a few days before I upload this. So they shipped in a decent time manner, especially around a holiday. And this one is gorgeous. I don't have very many horse photos, but this was gorgeous. The white horse with the red and green against it, like, those colors look great together. I mean, his mane is a little yellow, not white, but at least this way it won't blend in. So, I don't know if I've seen a horse with that yellow of a mane. But it won't blend in and it still looks nice to me. It doesn't look like he has human hair or something. It just looks kind of yellow for a mane, but... Again, like I said, it, it keep it from mixing in, so I'm not upset. But 
I think he is gorgeous. And it looks like the bridal looks about right. I mean, it looks like there might be some like extra tassels or something hanging from it. But looks pretty good. You have 22 colors, random letters. Um, again, confetti with G's and D's. All G's and D's in the background. That is confetti. Your plants are color blocking. Your horse is color blocking. And then again, I would expect these little things to be more confetti heavy. So he's in a train. So we've got pre-bagged, small bags, and train. <laughs> All right. And there's our true red. And this one's very close to it. You got some brown, very dark brown there. Creams, pinks, whites, purples. Purple is the background in here, I do believe, is going to have some of the purples in it. I really like him. I think he's really pretty. Happy to have this as one of my few horses. I, I think I have like four horse paintings or something. Isn't he pretty? I really do love the white with the red and green. So these will all be linked below for you guys, by the way. All right, we got one for mom. Yes, I got a lot for me and not a lot for mom this time. I think she just didn't find a lot that she liked. Or she just didn't feel like going through them with me at the time I placed the order. Or to clarify the time that I emailed them the photos I was interested in. But she did find, or I found her, a pretty wolf she doesn't have. Again, pre-bagged. Grays, purples, creams, a little bit of pinkish color, another creamish color, and then brown type creams and black. Hopefully these purples are all just in the plants and stuff. I do see a few dots here that I question in his fur, but it looks like overall, green for the pine trees so it looks like we got grays and brownish colors for his fur I think the wolf's going to be more accurately colored and again it's a 30 by 40 so it should be a 25 by 35 and I'm pretty sure it is and then look at the eyes they are that close to the edge so my eyes were just playing tricks on me with the white one Oh boy, that did not want to work for me. Alright. So we have 20 colors, random letters. Color blocking for eye around the edge. D's and B's there in the tree. You got some eyes in the rock mixed with Y's. Same with the wolf here. Now there's one thing I notice. The wolf and the block literally just go into each other. So you might want to take these Y's and finish putting them here like these three and one there or something to just try to get a little bit of differentiation in there between the two 
but E's again are kind of that blurrier white, but I don't think you're going to have an issue knowing what you're looking at. So, look at that pretty guy. Pretty wolf. But yeah, I would definitely try to bring these Y's across right here. Alright, so this next one is a set. I believe they had like one more to it, but I wasn't as fond of that one as I was these ones. And I wanted all of these, but I didn't expect to get all of these, so thank you, thank you for them. They are so gorgeous. They are, they are so, so pretty. Look at him. Look at him. He's so gorgeous. 35 by 35, so we're expecting a true 30 by 30. This is gorgeous. So what type of cat would you consider this one? I was kind of thinking maybe like a mountain cat, but it looks a little small, kind of like a, um, is it a serval that I'm thinking about? Either way, he's a gorgeous little baby. And... 28. So we expected a 30 and we got a 28. Still looks like he's going to turn out really nice. But again, you tend to expect like the five centimeters off or something like that. And the seven's a little, uh, little sad, but you see it quite often. So again, no label on these. I will have to put a label on these. Look how bright that color is. Wow. And then you got your gray-brown colors. A lot of white in that background again. I am hating the color blocking background, but I'm buying the canvases and asking for canvases with color blocking backgrounds. That's on me. But again, I would not get this if the cat was all I worked on and I didn't do the background. I would not get it. So even as much as I complain about hating this, I still pick it over the other way huge key you got one through eight which is one through eight and then a through s there's 20 colors again have fun color blocking the background because there's a lot of that but look at those eyes look at this gorgeous cat look at him just look at him stare at you and then the kind of just like paint dripping almost the way it fades like that that is so pretty. That is so, so pretty. Now, if this one's pretty, wait till we get to the other two. This one's just a brown cat. I have so many canvases I want to work on. Cute. Next one. So I do believe this is a jaguar, not a leopard, but again, I have a lot of trouble calling the two apart, especially in a diamond painting. But I think the jaguar is a little leaner than the leopard, and I think this looks a little leaner. Very colorful. Got like the ink splatters in these blue color, green colors here. Again, look at all that white. And then you got your oranges and your browns. Like that's about what we expect, isn't it? And look at the eyes staring at you guys. I said before I love the eyes and look at those eyes. Um, I've actually seen a few uh, paintings of just eyes and I've actually been like, 
actually might not mind those. I know there's some YouTubers that do like the eye paintings. But I've actually seen a few and it's like, I actually might not mind those. So, again, I think it's decent stick. I don't trust how well they stick to me being how well they hold drills. I just, I have not found the two to correlate anymore. <laughs> so... Look at those eyes, guys, and those gorgeous black spots. Isn't he gorgeous? And again, you got all your color blocking and S's. <laughs> but those eyes, those pretty eyes. Look at this. One through eight, then A through us, 20 colors. So again, links will be below and the links will have like their name, their SKU, the link and the price it was at the time I found it. All right. Now this one. This one is a cheetah. And I love cheetahs. They're just the big anxiety ridden fast cute cat. And yeah, cheetahs are anxiety ridden. <laughs> um, I don't know how many of you guys are into animals or how much you know about animals, but cheetahs in zoos and stuff like that, some of them actually get support dogs because they're so emotional. <laughs> so look at him. I love, I love cheetahs. And then this black, this black line here. That's a cheetah for you. They're crying black tears. If you want to tell them from a jaguar or a leopard, it is very easy. They're, they're racers. They are skinny little racers and they cry. That's how you tell a cheetah. Look at those colors. So bright. And all the white again. Those yellow oranges, a little bit of brown. He is so gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. Sorry, I am loving my cats. These guys are so pretty. Again, they are very simplistic. And again, some of you guys might not like them because you have to do all the background color blocking or if you wanted to you could do the painting here and then go over it with like an exacto knife or I use scalpels and cut it out and then put it on some poster board if you don't want to fill all this out you can just cut around it but I I don't like the look of drills and no drills so this is the way I'll go thank you I will complain about it while I'm working on the white trust me I just did a painting that had all this white border and it's like, am I done yet? I've done like three fourths of the canvas and it's all just white. So <laughs> yeah, I'm not a huge fan of confetti, but I much rather the look of the finished product with the all white border. So I have paintings to finish, but I am so tempted to work on this guy because mainly I'm killing time till we work on Rainbow Lady, but it's just so pretty. They're just so pretty. Look at them. Look at them, guys. But you can see this, right? Like he has a little bit of black, right? They have just like a little bit of black, but they literally are wailing. Look at those tears all the way down their face. 
I know they're not actually tears, but a good way to know you're talking about a cheetah. It is crying its eyes out. And then this guy just has a little bit of black. Look at them. Look at these guys. I really want to remember what I was thinking this guy was. It's not a lynx, right? I mean, it could be, but it doesn't have the ear tufts. Not that all of them have the ear tufts, right? It's a smaller cat. I mean, he is smaller than the cheetah. So it's not a mountain lion, because a mountain lion's more like our jaguar over here. And again, I think that's a jaguar. I think the jaguar is a little bit narrower than the leopard. But those ones I still have a hard time telling. They just, it's slightly different in face shape and spots, but it's so hard to tell. So either way, our gorgeous cat family. Now I need a lion. I need the other one of these. So the jaguar, the uh, leopard. I need a lion, a uh, puma, or mountain cat, a uh, black panther, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I need I need more of these. I need my big cat family, my lynx, uh, serval, ocelot. Like, I take all of the cats like this. <laughs> like, Bling's obsessed with her human faces. I'm obsessed with paint splatter cat faces. <laughs> Look at those. I really want to work on this right now. And then we got our gorgeous little horse and our little puppy. Our little mouse that don't want doesn't want us to forget it's still winter so it can snow. <laughs> So you got these three gorgeous, wintry, Christmassy. And I would say they are more Christmas than winter, but they are still gorgeous and still worth working on, be it this year or next year. And then we have our 30 by 50 gorgeous little cutesy horror doll Halloween style and again she should be a 25 yep a little bit under 25 and 45 so again what we expect for her too so these were really nice paintings oh and we can't get, forget mommy's gorgeous wolf like so, yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you again. They are so pretty. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you guys like some of these because I think they are absolutely stunning. I am so happy with my kitty cats. I really am. They are so pretty. I am going to have to go look and see if there's any more of these. Because like I said, I believe there was like one more that I found, but I didn't like the way it looked. I am going to have to go check again. So. So nice. Also, I like the size painting for some reason. I like my 30 by 50 better than my 30 by 40s. I don't know what it is that extra. I like this style of painting, the size painting. Hopefully you guys have a nice day, night, or morning. Hopefully your day, night, or morning continues to go well. Um, please remember, try to do this because you enjoy it and because it's calming. N don't feel like you have to rush through a painting or that you're obligated to work at a, on a painting or work on a painting at a certain speed. This is about enjoying it. It's about calming down and relaxing. Or doing something with your hands while watching a movie or listening to a book. It's not a race to finish something. It's not an obligation you need to make. Um, work on it at the pace that feels right for you. So, again, hopefully everybody has a nice one and I will definitely have more for you. <laughs>